thy power to all them that are yet for to come. The graciousness of God is very high, and the great things are taken in the heavens of O God, who is like unto thee. O what great troubles and adversities thou hast shown me, and yet didst thou turn and refresh me. Yea, and broughtest me from the deep of the earth again. Thou hast brought this great honor, and comforted me on every side. Therefore will I praise thee and my faithfulness, O God, playing upon an instrument of music. Unto thee will I sing upon the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips will be glad when I sing unto thee, and so will my soul whom thou hast delivered. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness. All the day long, for they are confounded and brought unto shame that seek to do me evil. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the ungodly. Here beginneth the lamentation of Jeremiah the prophet. How doth the city sit solitary that is full of people? How is she become as a widow, she that was great among the nations and princes among the provinces? How is she become tributary? She weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Judah is gone into captivity because of affliction, and because of great servitude she dwelleth among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. The waves of Zion grew more, because none come to the solemn feet. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper. The Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the end. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. Amen. Behold the 
hours of hell, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners, ye shall flee, and I go to be offered up for you. The adversary has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things, for she has seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into the congregation. All her people saw it. They seek bread. They have given their pleasant things for meat to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. Is it nothing to you, all ye that pass by? Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my son, which is done unto me wherewith the Lord hath afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From above hath he set fire into my bones, and it prevaileth against me. He hath spread a net for my feet, he hath turned me back, he hath made me desolate and faint all day. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand, they are wreathed and come up upon my neck. He hath made my strength to fail, the Lord hath delivered me their hands, from whom I am not able to rise up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. Lo, we have seen him without form our homes. His look is not from him. He hath borne our sins and mourned for us. But we are wounded for our transgressions. With his stripes we are healed. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. With his stripes we are healed. Although we have seen him without form or homeless, his look is gone from him. He hath borne our sins and mourned for us. But we will for our transgressions. With the stripes we are healed. He shall deliver the poor, but he cried. The needy also, and him that hath no help. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. Then he shall be judged the people according to the right, and the land before. The mountains also shall bring peace, and the little hills righteousness unto the people. You shall keep the simple folk by the right, defend the children of the poor, and punish the wrong. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. He shall come down like the rain upon the mowing grass, even as the grass that water there. In his time shall the righteous flourish, yea, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endure. His dominion shall be also from the one sea to the other, and from the river and the world. They that dwell in the wilderness shall kneel before him. His enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the Nile shall give presence. The kings of Arabia and Saba shall turn to him. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall deliver the poor when he cry. And he will also in him that hath no comfort. He shall be favorable to the simple and needy and shall preserve the souls of the poor. You shall 